could use an education that's actually modern, actually affordable, and actually personal. If you're one of the 35 million Americans who hasn't finished your degree, well, Strayer's here to help. New bachelor students can even receive a brand new laptop. Right now at 11, Stormwatch 7 on weather alert. We'll get to your coronavirus uh, news in just a moment. Tracking a few showers and storms in our area right now. But where we're really keeping a close eye on are these storms that are up to the north, pushing down around Cleveland right now, Toledo, and heading to the south at about 45 miles per hour. Severe thunderstorm watches and warnings there. None in our area at this time, but we are under that slight risk category from the Storm Prediction Center, and that is everybody within our area. Your forecast timing is between 4 to 8 a.m. We're going to be tracking these storms. We'll have your hour-by-hour -hour forecast coming up in just a few minutes. It's heart-wrenching because, because of the kind of guy that he was and the legacy that he's left behind. A D.C. police officer's unexpected death and now concerns that he won't get a proper final farewell. One-on-one -on -one with Dr. Fauci, the one thing he doesn't think Americans should go back to doing once this is all over. At first, it was just for fun. But now, this sixth grader's daily messages are helping lift up her entire community. Tonight, the number of new coronavirus cases in the United States surging once again after a one-day drop almost 30,000 new cases. In our area, there is hope that a trend seems to be forming in a positive direction. But here's a look right now at the numbers of new cases in Maryland. Consecutive days with fewer new cases reported. That's the good news. But there is a chance it is a blip. And there is hope that it may be a sign that Maryland, uh, Maryland now is peaking with these cases. Other big headlines in the war on COVID-19, perhaps none bigger than from where it all started, Wuhan, China. The lockdown has been lifted after 11 weeks. People can enter and leave the city if they prove they are not sick or they hadn't been recently sick, a sign that New York is peaking as well. The number of new hospitalizations dropping for a second straight day, almost in half from this weekend. Despite the positives, more than 1,700 in our country died, the deadliest day yet. The Coronavirus Task Force warns new hotspots can develop and explains why COVID-19 is affecting the African-American community more than others. That's ahead. Just seven days into the White House's 30 days to slow the spread campaign, there's new information that President Trump says he is looking into pausing funding to the World Health Organization, the WHO, while pledging small businesses are going to get much needed cash. Here's ABC. C7's chief political correspondent, Scott Thuman. Long and at times tightly packed lines of those in need. South Floridians waiting just to get applications for unemployment benefits. Earlier Tuesday, President Trump talked online with small business leaders and made this announcement at tonight's task force briefing. I'll be asking Congress to provide an additional $250 billion for the Paycheck Protection which will help keep Americans employed to facilitate a quick and full recovery. More money across the board won't be far off, according to Speaker Nancy Pelosi. It was clear, even as we passed the last bill, that it would not be enough. It would not be enough uh, for our states and municipalities, but it was a giant first step. The adjustments, though, more than just medical or financial. In our conversation with Dr. Anthony Fauci today, I asked what changes we should expect in our daily routines even after the threat is minimized. As a society, just forget about shaking hands. We don't need to shake hands. We've got to break that custom because, as a matter of fact, that is really one of the major ways that you can transmit a respiratory-borne illness. And a lot of people wondering, how freely are you able to speak uh, with the president, with the task force, about your concerns? Is there a, a degree of confidence you have that science and health is always going to take precedent over the economy? Yeah, I mean, I'm totally free in saying, and everybody knows that, that I speak based purely on scientific data, on information, and on evidence. Evidence. I communicate that to the president and the vice president, and they, in fact, listen. On Wednesday, President Trump says he'll be speaking with and offering more support to mental health organizations around the country trying to help those in need during this pandemic. On Capitol Hill, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News.